Hello guys, and welcome to the final reaction video for Series 3 of Sherlock. I'm going to talk about his last vow and then do a series wrap up, so apologies in advance if this video runs a little long. Let's get started. Yay! An hour and a half long heart attack. That's what that was. I have never had to pause a TV show slash movie to freak out so many times in my life. The moment when the assassin turned around and we saw it was Mary, my worst nightmare. It was the absolute last thing I wanted from her. And like, they did set it up that way all season and there was theories thrown around in the fandom, but I so wanted Mary to be for real. So basically from then until the scene between her and John at Christmas, my heart was shattered into a million pieces to the point that I almost stopped watching the episode. Was that painful? I know it's causing some controversy that John chose to take her back, but you have to remember that it took months for him to come to the decision. And she's carrying his child, so to drop her totally would mean dropping his child, and John Watson is not about to do that. I think we have to wait to see how their storyline plays out in the future before judging too much. I am choosing to be unflinchingly optimistic about Mary. I think she's someone who genuinely tried to start her life over. I think she cares about John and Sherlock. Y'all can go around spouting your Mary is Sebastian Morin and still evil theories. I'm still gonna love her. Complicated lady characters. You are not allowed to say that you love evil, twisted James Moriarty and hate Mary Morstan because she's evil and hurt John and Sherlock. Like, no. Sherlock fandom, please. We all know I love Mycroft. My Holmes brother's emotions run deep. There was so much Mycroft this season. I have a feeling that the entire Mycroft arc was building to the moment when he sees Sherlock as a child again right after he shoots Magnuson. It was so emotionally powerful. Cheers to Lars Mikkelsen, by the way, as Magnuson. He was horrifyingly creepy. A little underutilized, in fact, but an excellent performance. Now, the ending. Unpopular opinion alert. I don't want Moriarty back. Sorry you used your best fucking villain in the first two seasons. If Sherlock and Moriarty keep going head to head forever, it's going to lose its potency as a storyline. For once in his life, I need Moffat to let a character stay dead. Therefore, I support the theories that, as this is a cliffhanger, things are not as they seem. It's possibly the real Morin. Of course, some people are suggesting Mary's the real Morin, but for obvious reasons, I don't want this. That fucking cock tease that was John and Sherlock's goodbye was stupid. For like a whole list of reasons, but yeah, between that and the Moriarty thing, the ending left me kind of eh? It was a little bit less potent than I was expecting. And I mean, maybe it's partially because Reichenbach, I had such a visceral reaction to that, and I still do when I watch it, but not every finale can be a Reichenbach, I guess. I was just less emotionally wrought than I expected to be. But what a deliciously dark episode. Woohoo. What a weird fucking season this was. As my good Tumblr friend Little Miss Hamish said, Those are great hallucinated episodes, guys! Can't wait for the real ones! All the episodes were radically different from each other and from the previous six. They shook things up. Hey. Who knows what the future is going to bring. Hopefully series four next year. That's what the rumblings are. Who knows how many seasons we'll actually get, but I think in the long run of the show, this season is going to be looked back on as pretty wild. <laughs> I would like to take a moment to say that I love you, Sherlock fandom. I really do. The outpouring of art, ideas, collaborations, respectful discussions never fails to amaze me. I know my understanding of the show evolves with every meta rant that I read, and our collective knowledge only gets stronger with time. 
it's not even really goodbye because I know I'm going to spend all the time before Series 4 waiting it out with y'all. Next week, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled geeking. I will be discussing things other than Sherlock. I might still end up talking about Sherlock sometimes. Thank you for watching my face. Bye.